It took around eight hours for these International Atomic Energy Agency team members to reach the Saporizia region. Their plan is to evaluate conditions inside Europe's largest nuclear power plant for a few days. Well, we are, we are a team of very experienced people. I bring them here. Um, the best and the brightest in safeguards, in safety, in security, and we will have a pretty good idea of uh, what's going on. How long? Shelling in the past weeks has raised concerns over the conditions inside the plant. It's a difficult task, as they will have to evaluate the potential damage, the conditions of the personnel, and whether safety systems are in place. This wind will go, go. Vadim Chumak is an expert on nuclear disasters. He says that even though the Saporizia nuclear power plant is nearly indestructible, there are many things that could go wrong. Uh, it can be destroyed probably only if it is shot at a very special purpose with very, with very powerful munition. Uh, so it cannot be uh, damaged simply because of uh, some occasional uh, bomb or rocket fall nearby. The visit is taking place as Ukraine is staging a counteroffensive in the south, trying to begin what President Volodymyr Zelensky says is the liberation of territories occupied by Russia. Ukraine says its forces have destroyed several ammunition depots and all major bridges that would allow Russian troops to cross the Dnieper River. Everyone here knows that this is going to be a long fight, but almost everyone is convinced that Ukraine will prevail. Uh, armament, not only armor, but Experts armament, like Mikola Bielieskov say the offensive is a major challenge and Ukraine has bravery to make up for the weapons it lacks. Uh, the offensive is, is quite a challenging scene, it's quite difficult, complicated scene. You need to orchestrate the application of uh, a lot of manpower, a lot of equipment, so you need to, to, to do it uh, to have a fact, you need to, to breach the tactical depths of defense, uh, you need to move all on echelon, you need to interdict uh, the Russian possible Russian uh, counter moves still. Uh, as I said, chances are quite high. Ukraine's government continues to demand more weapons from its Western allies to push its offensive. Soldiers on the front lines are fighting to defend their country. I believe the time has come to regain the territory they have lost. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Kiev.